everybody! Welcome to episode 23 of the Inspired Knitting Podcast. I am your host, Bobby, and I am coming to you from New Brunswick, Canada. I would first like to welcome any new viewers who may be tuning in to the podcast for the first time. Welcome! And to any returning viewers, welcome back! This is a podcast mostly about knitting and sometimes crochet and spinning, although I haven't fun in quite a while. I really need to get back into that. I kind of miss it. Um, there's a little bit of sewing sometimes. That kind of has been put on the back burner too. But yeah, all sorts of fibery and crafty fun. Um, you can find me on Instagram as the Inspired Knitting Podcast. I recently just changed that uh, this week. I used to have it under my name. But now I just decided to put it under the podcast. I thought that it'd be a little bit easier to find rather than just my name. So on Instagram, it's the uh, Just Inspired Knitting Podcast. And you can follow me on Rivalry as X Country Girl 1986X. And I also created a new Rivalry group for the podcast as well. It's actually been there for a few years now, but I just haven't been active with it. Um, there was so much going on, and I just fell miserably behind on keeping up with it. But be sure to head over there. I am keeping the show notes there. So I'm just going to jump into general admin for a minute here so I can talk about that. Um, I still have my website, although I'm going to kind of let that slide for a while. I was using the website kind of as a blog and to post show notes, but I think I would rather just let that go and um, just use Ravelry to post any show notes uh, so you can find what I've talked about and get direct links to the pattern and all that there, because I know most of you have Ravelry, so yeah. As always, you can find the show notes below in the description box, but it's just another place where you can go as well. So be sure to head over to uh, Ravelry, and you can find it under, I think it's just Inspired Knitting Podcast. Um, so yeah, I'll leave links to it below as well. So you can share your stuff, you can introduce yourself, and all that fun stuff. I love hearing from you guys, so yeah, don't be shy. <laughs> so, yes, I hope you guys have had a great two weeks. Last week, I really didn't have too much to share with you guys, so I just decided to uh, wait till this week to podcast. Um, so yeah, it was a great week. I got some quite a bit of knitting progress done on my shawl and uh, this week I've really been concentrating on my socks so you guys are gonna see a lot of socks today but yeah overall it was a great week and um, yeah the temperatures here down east were actually rather mild and we had some beautiful sunny days and you could just really feel spring in the air and uh, two days ago we just had like this big nor'easter come through and it dumped us with a load of snow and yesterday we had a bunch more so yeah I'm not happy <laughs> the trees um, I have like sliding doors in front here and we have a beautiful tree line and the snow is just cascaded down on them beautifully so it's very gorgeous to look at but I just want winter to be over I want spring to get here and warm temperatures so I can go for uh, wheeling like I want to say go for a walk but I'm in a wheelchair so take my power chair and just go for a walk I really love being outside and I am tired of being cooped up inside so yeah I want mother nature to start cooperating soon so anyways uh yeah hope you guys have had a good one and I hope it's not too cold and snowy where you are 
So I'm going to uh, continue on with the mid stuff here. On episode 22, I had shared with you about uh, the giveaway that I'm doing. That is going to be running to April the 1st. I'm running it this long just to give people time if they weren't able to watch episode 22 right away, um, they have a chance to enter into this giveaway. So I will be drawing prizes um, around like the 1st of April. So the podcast that comes out around that time will be when I draw the winners. So there's going to be, I will just mention it again, because our last podcast, um, we did it outside. Uh, me and Kaylee. Kaylee was filming it for me. Um, we decided to film outside and it was a lot of fun, um, but it was really cold. So uh, I hope you guys don't mind that episode turned out to be a little bit rushed and I think you were able to hear okay. Our playback we could hear all right. So on your end, I hope it was good too. But we were a little rushed in uh, what we were doing because our we were freezing to death. Our hands were so cold, and yeah, we were we were very cold at the end of that. So I'm just gonna go over it all again, just in case you guys didn't catch it. Um, it's just a general giveaway that I'm doing for all my wonderful subscribers. It's been a long time coming, and. Um, yeah, there's going to be at least three winners. There's going to be a major winner. So I'm going to share with you today some of the stuff that you will be getting. So I'm just going to do that right now. You will be getting some beautiful stitch markers. I picked out some from, um, I always have a problem pronouncing her shop name. It's I think it's Kalapa Cottage Crafts. So I've picked out this beautiful progress keeper of an owl. And you will also be getting one of her beautiful sets. There are six uh, stitch markers and there's also this really cute uh, progress keeper of a sheet. So this will be going to the first place winner. So you'll be getting this. You will also be getting, and oh, I love this stuff. This is a skein of Miss Babs. And this is her uh, lace weight yarn. I don't know what the colorway is. Unfortunately, the tag got ripped off and I can't find it. So I apologize for that. But it is so soft. It's a merino and silk blend. I do remember that. I'm not 100% sure on the yardage of it, but yes, that's turning out totally green, but it's more of a turquoise, so sorry about that, but it's a beautiful tur turquoise color, very pretty, so you'll be getting that, as well as this skein here, this is another Miss Babs, this is her uh, Yet Lace Weight, it's merino silk as well. It is 65% merino wool, 35 Tessa silk, and it is 400 yards. So you can see the, the tag there. And it's in this gorgeous colorway. This is across the universe. How pretty is that? Just so pretty. Now again, <laughs> like this color here is turning up like a bright green. It's really not. It's the same color turquoise as the skein here. So these two skeins together would go beautifully into a shawl or um, you could mix it with um, a sport weight yarn. I think that's what they're doing. I was watching um, the grocery girls and I think they said if you take a sport weight and a lace weight, or a lace weight and a fingering, I can't remember, it turns into a worsted, and they're making beautiful hats with it, so maybe that's something you would want to do. I don't know, but two beautiful skeins of Miss Babs yarn. So that is just four of the prizes that the first place winner is going to be receiving. And you'll probably get a little 
goodie bag as well, which I'm going to leave that as a surprise and maybe a pattern of your choice. We'll see how it goes. But the first place winner will be getting these two skeins of yarn and these stitch markers. So, yeah, super excited about that. So, if you haven't already, make sure you head over to episode 22. I will link it in the descrip description box below. So, just head over there and tell me what you're working on. And it could be anything. It could be knitting. It could be crocheting. It could be sewing. Anything. Just tell me what you're currently working on right now. Whatever craft you do, if it's cross-stitch doesn't matter just tell me what you're working on and you will be entered in for the giveaway so yeah um, the other uh, there will be three winners drawn so the first place winner will get that um, and the other two will get a pattern of your choosing so whatever pattern that you want from rivalry you just tell me what it is and I will gift it to you so that's the plan um, I was thinking about maybe running another one in our Ravelry group or Instagram, so um, I think I will save that for next week, just so we have something in between, and I might be gifting out a pattern through there, so just wait and see. So again, I will be drawing that by April 1st, around that date. So make sure you head over to episode 22 and get those entries in so you can be eligible for some beautiful prizes. Okay, so as for admin talk, I think that was pretty much all I wanted to talk about. So I'm going to now move on into finished objects. So I have super excited because like I said uh, this was definitely the week of the socks so I am trying to do the uh, box of socks uh, that Kristen from the Yarngasm podcast hosts every year and um, yeah I would like to try to accomplish a beautiful box of socks at the end of the year so Kaylee has um, my friend Kaylee that uh, now lives here with us, which I'm super excited about. Um, we have this running joke that I am going to knit a sock every month of the year for the year, and then for 2018, knit the other sock of the month. I really hope not. I don't want that to happen. I want a pair of socks a month. But uh, it's a joke because I have fallen miserably behind on my socks. So the first finished object I'm going to share with you are actually my January socks. So you guys probably remember them. They're these ones here. These are my Star Night socks. And it's just a plain vanilla sock. I cast it on 64 stitches on uh, a 2.0 millimeter and um yes i had first casted this on 64 stitches on 2.25 but i found that the fabric it was coming out too big like i thought the sock was going to come out too loose so i ended up ordering a new set of needles 2.0s and i just recasted it on again so yeah I still find that it's loose. These are my big sock blockers and they're fitting on so I have yet to try these on myself so I really don't know but I think they might still be a bit big. I have to work with uh, my stitches and needle size and try to figure it out but regardless I will still wear them. They are beautiful. Um, for the heels and the toes I have used um, a pattern that Susan B. Anderson has come out with. It's called the Smooth Operator Socks. It is a paid for pattern on Rivalry and I highly recommend it. She has some beautiful tips in there on how to uh, pick up around this area. This is an afterthought heel, but she has some uh, tips on how to pick up around here because sometimes you're left with a hole and she has some great tips on how to avoid that and I am also using a version of one of the heel options that she gives in the pattern 
and you see it just has this single decrease line and it also has it in the toe as well. That was new to me and I'm really enjoying that a lot. I've even included it on my other pair of socks that I've done. Really, really enjoying that kind of decrease. So totally worth it. I think it was $6 Canadian, I think, something like that for the pattern. But like I said, it's totally worth it. It's full of great information. She's got picture tutorials in there as well if you are more of a visual learner. And uh, she's also got like uh, just the plain written version in case you just are the type of person that would rather read it. So it's just packed full of use very useful information. I love her. So totally recommend you check that out. So yeah, here it is. The cuff, heels, and toes are done in nitpick stroll fingering, and it's just in the white colorway. And then this patterning is uh, Arnie Regia, Arnie and Carlos in the Star Knight colorway. It's actually a number on the ball band, but I looked it up and it's the Star Knight colorway, so I just called these my Star Knight socks. So yeah, there's one and two. So now I have officially my first finished pair of socks for the box of socks. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> my Christmas Eve cast on socks unfortunately can't be called that because I casted them on New Year's Eve, right? Or Christmas Eve. So these are my first pair of socks and I love them. So, yay! So that was the first thing. The second thing that I worked on uh, was some dishcloths. Um, I hope I'm not going to mess up her name. I called her Emily last time. It's not. It's Amber for the Yard Porter podcast. I apologize for that. Uh, she is doing um, a fun little make-along on Instagram where you make one dishcloth a week. So you make the one dishcloth a week for the year and you can just post it to Instagram. It's something fun and I'm rather enjoying it. So I made this one. This is uh, just some Burnett Handicrafter cotton that I had and I don't remember the colorway, I'm sorry. But it's just these pretty pink stripes. And then I made this one and it's also Burnett Handicrafter and this one's in the natural stripes colorway. So if you saw on my page uh, or my YouTube, I had created a tutorial for these dishcloths. Uh, these are crocheted and I just did a simple puff stitch. And I had a beautiful subscriber reach out to me and wanting to know what pattern it was. So rather than trying to explain it, I just decided to do a tutorial on it so you can find that here on my youtube channel if you're interested and yeah i hope you enjoy it so it's just a basic puff stitch not hard at all i used um a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook cast it on like 28 stitches i think and then just did the puff stitch so yeah there super cute and I love them so yeah that would be my second finished object now we're going to be moving on into whips and I actually have a hoe to share with you so uh, for my February socks um, I had showed you in my last uh, episode that I had casted on the first star socks uh, by Jessica Gore I believe um, I had done the cuff and I was starting to do the patterning and it's not that it's hard to do after you do the first couple rows you kind of get the gist of how it's done but I just wasn't really enjoying it as much as I thought that I would I love the finished object but I just wasn't really enjoying the stitch pattern so I decided to rip back to the cuff and um, I was watching uh, Kay, I think her name is, from the Crazy Sock Lady podcast 
and she does her own patterns and she has a sock pattern called the Austin socks so I decided to cast those on instead so like I said I just ripped back to the cuff and uh, just did the Austin socks instead so I don't know if you're going to be able to tell it all but it just has this really pretty textured pattern to it so I did my 2x2 two two ribbing of course and then it's got a gusset heel and I did the Susan B. Anderson decreases for the toe as well just because I'm really enjoying that and I also have my pretty little stitch marker from Kalapa Cottage Designs as well my little family tree so loving those <laughs> So yeah, really love this pattern. Super memor mem okay, I can't say that word. It is super great to memorize. And yeah, this sock knit up in no time. I think it took me I think a day and a half, if I remember correctly, to do this. So pretty fast. I am knitting this sock on a uh, 2.25 millimeter but I am only doing 60 stitches rather than 64 now this I think turned out to be the perfect uh, sock like it's not too loose and I really love the fabric of it so yeah like I said I'm still working on my gauge with socks because I apparently have loosened up a lot in the past couple years so whatever <laughs> so there's my hoe I have the other one here too I casted the second one on right away just because I feel that if I don't get it casted on right away that I'm gonna kind of lose the uh, the excitement over it and not do it <laughs> so I got the cuff all completed now I can just start into the texture and for this, I'm using Knit Picks um, Hawthorne Fingering, which is a merino nylon blend, I believe. And this is in the blueberry waffle colorway. And again, my turquoise colors are turning out green. So these bright greens here are not green, they're turquoise. So I don't know what's going on with my camera, but yeah. Very pretty color so loving it and I really like the feel of the hawthorn as well it's got a nice uh, a nice feel to it so yes second sock is started I just have to start working on it so there's that one so moving on to another sock um, I decided that since I got my Star Knight socks done that I would cast on my March socks. Yeah, just finish February's and get them done. But no, I had to cast on another one. So for my March socks, I decided to cast on the Cyro socks uh, from Danielle Gor George. She is Danny from the Little Bobbins podcast. You'll probably know what I'm talking about. This is the first sock out of her Vintage Love Story collection, and I really love that. Uh, Danny is creating some very beautiful patterns, and I can't wait to see the rest of this collection because this pair of socks is just beautiful. So here's what I have so far. I did my cuff, and I've gotten that much done so far. So, yeah. I hope you guys can tell the beautiful patterning that's going on here. Isn't that pretty? It's just so beautiful. I love it. And I have my little rose progress keeper from Kalapa Cottage. I thought it was very fitting. So for these ones, um, I am using my... Uh, Knitter's Pry Dreams. These are wood needles. They are 2.0 millimeter. 
and I cast it on, there's a couple sizes, I cast it on for the 56 stitch count. So these socks will definitely not be for myself um, because it's a little bit tighter than I had anticipated. So um, I, I do have somebody in mind for them. They will fit them perfectly, but um, they do stretch a lot. Once they wash and block them, it should loosen it up a little bit. But yeah, I know right away they won't be for me, but it doesn't matter. I'm just trying to mess with different stitch counts and different needle sizes, like I said before, just to see. But anyways, um, I am loving it. Super cool. I think I have another repeat and a half to go before I am done the leg, and then I can start the, uh, the heel and the foot. So that's coming along nicely. I had completed all of this in... Um, a couple hours at least. I started working in the morning and uh, I think I stopped mid-afternoon or something so yeah it didn't take me long at all. It's beautiful cable pattern and it's just got you wanting to get to the next section and then the next section like you don't want to put it down and stop so I really love those kind of patterns. So Again, those are the cereal socks from Danielle George uh, or Danny of the Little Bobbins podcast. And for that one, I am using some uh, yarn from Stash. This is actually very deep stash. It's uh, Knit Pick Stroll Fingering in the Pearl Scent colorway. So it's just pretty much these sandy tones of uh, natural color very pretty. There's some spots that almost look gray too. It's just a very beautiful tonal colorway. I love it. So there's that one. The next thing that I worked on this week is my um, Jamie shawl. I didn't put that much work into it though. So going to get it open here. So here's what I have done so far. So I think the last time I shared it with you guys I was at the bauble section where I had just finished the bauble section. Can't remember now but I have done that much more so I have done my garter stripes and now I am almost at the end I almost have it all completed almost <laughs> it does work up rather fast because it is a worsted weight I'm doing the worsted weight version there's a DK version as well so I think I'm doing a miserable job at holding this up guys I'm sorry but there we go. So yes, this is the Jamie Shawl uh, by Cozy Up Designs. Uh, you can find them on YouTube. Uh, they have a podcast. It's Cozy Up with the Stitch and Sisters. You hear me talk about them a lot because they are like my favorite podcast. I just love them. They are so bubbly. They're three sisters, actually four sisters from Grand Prairie, Alberta, and. They are just awesome. They are coming out with designs and oh my gosh, they are very talented ladies. So if you don't know who they are, please go check them out because they are awesome. So yes, I can't wait to have this done. Um, might even work on it today. I don't know. <laughs> but it's almost near completion and yes, I am loving it. For this, I am using... Um, Cascade 220 and it's the Heathers and this is in the Sparrow colorway which it's just a little bit okay that's pretty true to color yeah that's about true to color it's just this pretty green color so in love with it it is a wool but it's not like it doesn't feel scratchy on the face so I really really love this stuff 
I purchased three balls of this and um, this is my second one so I think I with the yardage that she put I thought I would need the third which I might because there's still a couple sections that I have to go through still but yeah I just started into my second ball so we will see so this is again my Jamie shawl hopefully I could have that done next week I don't know we'll see how things go but I am loving it it is just awesome okay I just stopped the video for a minute to restart it because it would have clicked out on us I've gone back to filming with my uh, phone again so I just really like the quality of it rather than anything else so I apologize for that so I worked on one more thing this week uh, this was pretty much like I said the week of the socks um, just didn't feel the um, it's not I didn't really feel like picking the shawl up I've been falling so miserably behind with the socks that I just wanted to work on something simple and catch up on some podcasts and yeah I just wanted to knit on socks because yeah I just want to get some of them done so socks were pretty much on my mind the past couple weeks um, yesterday I believe it was Kaylee and I sat down to watch a movie and um, I had been working on my cereal socks and I was just like okay uh, I've had enough of socks right now and um, I just sat down to watch the movie and like not even five minutes into it I started to get um, antsy shall we say because I can't just sit and do nothing I have to have my hands going so um, I had a project bag on my shelf behind me here and it's housing my three color cashmere shawl so I or not shawl cowl so I picked it up and I just drew the pattern up on my phone and started working on it and yeah so I think I have shared this with you guys um, maybe a month or so ago I can't remember I did put a little bit more work into it this has been going on for at least three years <gasps> yeah I don't know why it's taking me this long um, I had casted it on uh, when I moved down here and I was having uh, a hard time getting back into my knitting and with everything uh, that went on since like I had moved into my own place and just so many different things were going on that knitting was wasn't really my main focus shall we say so this shawl kind of or cowl kind of got pushed aside into the back burner and it just kind of got forgotten and now that I have it back out knitting on it I don't understand how it did because it's so much fun so this is the three color cashmere shawl by Hohi Locatelli and I remember when this pattern came out um, it was quite huge because she did the cowl and she also has the three color cashmere shawl which I really want to do that one day too it looks awesome so I'm just going to first go over the yarn with you um, I'm using the BC Garn yarn and it's the Silk Bloom Fino which is a 45% mulberry silk and 55% soft merino so there's the tag. I got this off of loveknitting.com. It's the only place where I could find it. Uh, I was trying to search for it again the other day because I really love it. And I found it to be quite affordable too. So uh, the only place I could seem to find it was um, loveknitting.com. I don't know if you could find it other places, but that's where I can find it. Now, as for the colorway names, um, in the episode that I mentioned this, uh, Cowl, I had posted all the numbers and what their color names were. You can refer to my Ravelry page for sure to find all that information. I believe I put it there. But um, yeah, they're just numbers on the ball band 
and I have no idea which ones belong to which at this point. So go do go over to my Ravelry page if you're interested. So I'm going to go over the colors quick. So I have this pretty purple. I have a charcoal gray. And then I have this silver color, which it's more lighter than what that's appearing to be. So those are my colors. And I will show you this from the bottom up. So it starts off with some uh, ribbing. Then we got this beautiful eyelet section. Then you change into your second color and you're doing some more um, eyelets. Then you're doing some pretty striping. And then you can use your third color at this point and you're doing this beautiful textured section which is where I just started the other day. And then, this is my favorite part, you are then going into this beautiful lacy section right here. And I just completed this lace section this morning. So yes, how pretty is that? I'm afraid to show you on the other side that I'm gonna rip my needles out this yarn, it, because it's the silk um, content, cashmere, it's wanting to fall off. <laughs> so, yeah, I have to be very careful, but yeah, how pretty is that, guys? That is just absolutely beautiful. I am in love. Like I said, I don't know why I put this down for, because that is just too pretty. So... Yes, been working on that. I picked that up, um, I think it was yesterday that we watched the movie, and I did this whole purple section. And then, like I said, I did start the first repeat of the lace last night, and then it's very easy to remember. I was quite, I was a little nervous about it at first, but it's super easy lace to remember. It's a six row repeat and um, you have to repeat it three times so yeah I did uh, first one last night and I went to start into the second repeat and I was tired at the time and never do lace when you're tired because I accidentally started it off right and then I almost got to the end of the row and I was around and I was like uh oh <laughs> I'm looking at the wrong row here so yeah I had to tink that all back this morning, but it was just a, a row, so I don't care. But uh, yeah, completed that off, so now I can move on into my next section. And then I have a little bit of ribbing to do, um, same as on this end here. And then I can bind it off, so it's almost completed, and I'm happy about that. So yeah, beautiful, can't wait to wear it. And because of the silk, it is so soft and gorgeous. I just love this stuff. So definitely want to get more of this yarn in the future and maybe knit the shawl because I really am enjoying this. It's really nice. And of course, I got my little progress keeper. This is a little uh, birdhouse. And of course, it's from Kalapa Cottage Designs. I am just like wanting to buy everything that she has. She has some really cute stuff, so yeah. <laughs> that is that. So again, that's the Three Color Cashmere Cowl by Hohi Locatelli. So, yes. So, pretty much that's all I have this week. Um, which is a lot. I shouldn't say that's all. It's it is quite a bit so yeah <laughs> probably going to um, put more work into uh, the cowl to get it finished just because I'm really enjoying it or probably work on my Jamie shawl today I don't think I can quite look at socks yet <laughs> but uh, yeah hopefully next week I will be back with another podcast so um, 
regardless, be sure to head over to episode 22. Again, I will leave show notes down below in the description box, as well as a link to that podcast. So make sure you get your entries in, guys. There's some good prizes. And um, yeah, you can uh, follow me on Instagram again as Inspired Knitting Podcast and uh, Ravelry as X Country Girl 1986X. If you wish to reach out to me and don't be shy to, it is sweetcomfortdesigns at gmail.com. And like I said, I now have a Ravelry group for the podcast as well, so you can head over there. Um, I don't plan on doing any knit alongs uh, as of yet, just because I have so much going on. I don't feel like I would be a very good hostess to that. But uh, who knows, maybe in the future there will be. But for the time being, head over there. Um, I will open up a form for uh, general chatter so you can share with what you're working on and all that fun stuff. And I will also be posting um, every time I do a podcast. There will be a, a new form for the podcast with the show notes as well so you can get links to the patterns and all that fun stuff so be sure to check it out so until next time guys uh, I will see you and have a great week happy knitting bye